Hello, 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 my beautiful friends. Happy Monday. I'm back. I did not expect to be back today. Um, I don't know why it got me thinking about it yesterday, but I was like, let's talk about red oceans and blue oceans, which I've talked about this in my programs before, and I'm 99% sure I've done a live about this before, but let's do it again. My name is Brittany Budd. I'm the creator and facilitator of this community. What up? Um, I'm a mindset and business coach. I help online female entrepreneurs who are moms to build and scale their businesses to six figures and beyond using organic social media marketing strategies. Right now, I've got the doors to the 500K Club open. The applications have been extended. I don't want you to look at the applications as like a, am I gonna get accepted or rejected thing? It's more of like, let Brittany get to know you better. We can ask you all kinds of questions about your business and what your goals are. And it's not about qualifying or disqualifying everybody. I think that if you have the courage or you're taking action based on courage, even though you might be a little bit afraid or uncomfortable or what I like to call nerve sighted, where you're nervous, but you're excited. You're kind of like, ooh, but you're kind of like, ooh. If you are going to take that that action, you are already qualified. Like, boom, you're in, you're accepted. There's no good reason for you to not be in this room. You literally are walking up being like, hello, I'd like to come and sit down. Yes, there are always seats at my table. Um, so it's it does say apply, but it's really like, I just want to get to know you a little bit better, get to know what's going on in your business. Um, BrittanyBud.com forward slash 500K Club. Anyway, so I'm talking... Tonight I'm going to talk about red and blue oceans. This is a Russell Brunson analogy. Um, I also want to chat a little bit about a couple of things that we talked about in the Audience Incubator May group today because I'm just like, ooh, this is so good. Um, so I'm sure most of you are familiar with Russell Brunson. Even if you don't know who he is, you probably know what a click funnel is. He is the creator of click funnels. And when I was in Nashville, uh, Oh my goodness, almost three years ago. Ugh, that feels long. I went to see him at Funnel Hacking Live and he told this analogy about red oceans versus blue oceans. And I think that it's so important as entrepreneurs that you understand what this is and understand that having your own blue ocean is like detrimentally crucial to your business so the analogy goes like let's pretend we're all in the ocean and let's pretend we're all sharks now i'm thinking baby shark let's not go down that road let's pretend we're all sharks Ooh, i'm doing it and like in this instance, the ocean is like the social media platform that you are hanging out on, okay? So it could be Instagram, it could be Facebook, it could be a Facebook group, because I love Facebook groups and that's where 100% of my business comes from. Yes, multiple six figures all from this very group. Um, like, let's use my group as an example. My group is a blue ocean. Let's, let's, let's pretend it's not a blue ocean, okay? For the sake of this analogy, here we are, we're in my group. A person, not a shark, a person comes into my group and is like, hey, I'm looking for a business coach. Who can help me? What happens? We're all sharks. We all jump. <laughs> we all jump on this person. I'm a business coach. I'm a business coach. I'm a business coach. Oh, my friend is a business coach. Let me tag this person. Here's here's what it looks like to work with me. DM me. I'm going to DM you if that's okay. Shit show. Bloodbath, right? <laughs> so this one person just asks one little question. All of the business coaches in this group come flying out of nowhere. Chomp, 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 chomp. They're so excited. They want the attention. They bloody the water turning it into a red ocean. This happens in a lot of Facebook groups, especially super ginormous ones, okay? 
when you are a part of that and you are participating in bloodying the waters, it is very difficult to stand out and be like, I'm the best shark. Come over here. Like it is, the noise is loud. Everyone's pitching. People are unsolicited DMing, like I just said. And it is very hard to stand out and be the one that that one human connects with. Like your chances, every time someone new comments or tags someone else, your chances of being the one picked diminishes. Like you're the first person, you're the only person. Wow, there's like a 100% chance. Now another person, okay, well now we're down to 50. Now another person, well now we're down to 33. Now another person, now we're down to 25. Like it's just diminishing constantly. And so you're you're just a shark in blood, bloody waters and everyone's just trying to eat and it's just like scraps. It's just a mess, right? So having a blue ocean means humans come in and they can ask a question like my group, which is a blue ocean, because I don't allow a bunch of craziness to happen. Someone comes in here and asks a question. It is super regulated. Okay, I am the big kahuna in here. This is my space. This is my house. This is my ocean in this analogy. This is my ocean. I don't have a bunch of other sharks coming in here and bloodying up my waters. And so when you, as an entrepreneur, are trying to cultivate your own audience that you're nurturing and growing and loving, you want it to be blue. Like, you did that. You made that space. You made it safe for them. You're the one that's loving on those people every day. Why should someone else come in here and, like, shit all over your parade? That's not fair. Now, it is important to, to point out that like clients that are meant for you are not going to hire other people. Clients that are meant for other people will not hire you. Like it's not, it's not a lack mentality. It's not um, coming from like scarcity. It's coming from like protection, right? Like imagine like you're walking down the street and someone's like, mm, man, I could go for a burger. And then like, People from like McDonald's, Burger King, Dairy Queen, Wendy's, like all over the place just sort of like rushing this person to be like, I have the best burger. No, I have the best burger. Well, we have the Big Mac. Well, we have the quarter pounder with cheese. Like the person would be like, fuck, ah, like, no, I don't want to do this. That's super stressful, right? It's very red bloodied water. And so... Like I said, as you're growing your business, it's super important that you create a blue ocean, an oasis for yourself, for your clients, for your ideal clients, for your potential clients, where they don't feel jumped on, they don't feel attacked, and you are the only shark in the water, right? I don't really love the whole shark thing. But anyway, um, and I was talking to my group clients the other day, kind of about something similar, but also in like when it comes to your marketing. So we talk a lot about like the different ways you can market your business. You can focus all on your space or like you can go in and serve others everywhere, right? And so like, of course you should go and serve others everywhere. That's a nice thing to do. You're serving, you're loving, you're not going out there being a weirdo. But it was like, well, okay, I'm doing all of this, all of this, all of this. I haven't spent much time in my group. So I was like, pump the brakes. Imagine that your group is your house. Because I'm always, if you've ever done a training with me about Facebook groups, you know that I'm like, that's your house. Right? So you don't let other people come in and put their muddy shoes all over your white couch. You don't let people come in and badmouth you. Like, you don't want people to come in. <laughs> like, imagine you're in your house. All the people in your group are in your house. You're having a party. And there are people coming in taking people by the hand and leading them away. You don't want that happening either. So I was like, if you're not in your house, loving on the people in your party, then why are they gonna hang out there? Like, you can't be like, come to my house, I'm having a kick-ass party. But meanwhile, you're not there, you're down the street at someone else's house, 
being like, my party at my house is so good. It's just that house down there on the left. Come on. And then you just send them down there. You never come down to actually host the party. You're just constantly going in other people's houses and taking people from their party, but then ignoring all the people at your house and at your party. And be like, why the fuck am I here? The host isn't even here. You wouldn't do that. It was like, water your own grass. Like, love on your own people first. That needs to be the priority. Um, so that's the analogy. I really liked it. I mean, I don't like the bloody shark waters eating people thing. I like the house party thing better. <laughs> I like it so much better. Um, I'm like, you could totally take, like, the burger thing and put it in your house party thing. And then talk about how, like, if someone was like, oh, like, I'd love to have, like, a chip. And, like, everybody was just like, oh, I have... I have Lay's, they're a barbecue. Well, I have ketchup and they're better. Well, I have all dressed and that's better. Well, I have a different brown. Oh, you guys don't know what all dressed is. It's like a Canadian flavor. Okay, it's barbecue, ketchup, salt and vinegar, I think, all on one chip. I think those are the three. Anyway. Oh, you brought Lay's, I brought Pringles. Like, ooh, we both brought the same. Like, this is stupid. Like, you don't want people like attacking your guests who want a chip, right? <laughs> right? Like they just want to be able to get chips from you. You're the host. You're supposed to have the food. Um, okay. So some of the things that we talked about on the group, and I wanted to talk about this because I think it's super important, especially as moms. One of my clients was like, oh, I did this live and I was supposed to prepare for it on Sunday so I could do it today. And Maybe it was Saturday. She was going to do it yesterday. That doesn't fucking matter. That's trivial. But she was like, it went real bad. Like, I didn't get to prepare the way I wanted. I ended up deleting it because it was so terrible. I was like, oh, no. So then we, the more we talked about it, what had happened was her son and her future daughter-in-law, who are getting married in, like, two weeks, came over and wanted to have dinner with her and her husband. So the time that she had planned to like perfect the outline of this live she was about to do. She used it. She used that time to be with her kid. And I was like, whoa, pump the brakes, hold the phone. Here's something that's very important. Like, yes, we do need to be um, like committed to, the, to doing the things we say we're going to do because absolutely we do not want our audiences to feel like, oh, well, she's like a wishy-washy person. Like, she doesn't show up. I don't want that person for my coach or I don't want to join them in that team because she doesn't take it serious. But there's a line. There's a huge difference here. And I said, well, what if it was me? And she's like, well, you're already established, so no one would think that about you, but they're going to think it about me. And I was like, that's false. Like, and maybe even more so, like, not in my favor. If I started suddenly doing that, I feel like it would just spread like wildfire and people would be like, no, she's awful now. What happened to her? But that being said, like, we are all normal humans. So I was like, one, I was like, you don't have to delete it. I know you already did, but you don't have to delete it. Number two, you definitely need to address this because you are a mother and you are a business owner. And being a mom and a business owner are very different things. And I was like, when I was doing financing and like I worked with my dad and he's old school and my mom never worked. And like I had small children, all my kids were at home when I was doing investments and like stocks for people. I was like, I'd be like, oh, like one of my kids is sick. I gotta go to the doctor. And he would not understand that I needed to take my kid to the doctor. He was like, well, we have work to do. I'd be like, I have a sick child. I don't fucking care about the work. And most women, we we don't ha have that opportunity afforded to us to just be like, oh, well, too fucking bad. Like, I'm taking my kid to the doctor. Like, we're constantly put in this position that we have to do both perfectly. And it's not possible. And so we were talking about how, like, the standard is so different. And since the pandemic... It feels like, and hopefully it's true, that that's starting to shift a little bit where it's like family is coming first and business is starting to come second, especially where so many of us as moms, as women trying to run businesses, the purpose is our family. 
Like my, my why is my kids. And I've talked about this with you guys so many times before. I want my boys to be like, my mom was a fucking badass. Like I'm not as afraid of badass women. I'm not afraid of women that don't need me. I'm not afraid of independent women. I'm not afraid of women that make a lot of money. I'm not afraid of ambitious women. In fact, like I really like respect and appreciate that. And I know how to support a woman like that if they're into women. And I want my daughter to see the exact same thing. But instead of being like, well, now I know how to support someone like that. She goes, I know how to be that. Right. And like, that's my why. That is why I do this. Um, like my deep core why, like also, you know, I talk about how I'm so passionate about helping women make money, but like my motivation is those three children upstairs sleeping in their beds right now. And so I was like, we have all of this pressure, especially as moms to go, well, we, I have to hit X before I can do Y. And so there's a lot of, okay, I need to make X amount of money or have X amount of clients before I can take time off, right? There's something to be said for taking the time to be with your family because at the end of the day, for most of us moms, like we're saying, okay, well, if I made this money or I had this many clients, then I could take time off and do vacations or I could take time off and have like a big family dinner when I felt like it, or I could take time off and go to the movies or go to a park, but I have to hit this much money or I have to hit this many clients or I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do X before I can do Y. And I said, we need to start embodying Y before X. Like we need to start taking time to have dinner with our family because they showed up and they want to have it before they get married. It's okay to do that. Especially if you're thinking, well, if I was making 10K months, I wouldn't have felt bad about it, but I'm not making 10K months yet, so I feel bad about it. No, you need to create the space to allow that by allowing why to happen, having dinner, going to a movie, going to, the, to a park, taking time off, whatever the hell it is, and saying, this is a priority to me, regardless of how much money I make, how many clients I have, etc., etc. It's not one or the other. Why do we have this idea that it has to be one or the other? This has to happen, then this can happen. No, both can happen. And if you tell your audience as a normal human, a normal mother, a normal woman who's trying to grow her business, and you go, hey, hey, if you saw that live, great. She's redoing it. She's like, I'm going to redo it. I was like, totally. If you saw that, you maybe saw that I deleted it. If you didn't see it, here's what happened. My kids came, they're getting married, they want to have dinner with us. It was completely unexpected. As a mother who's trying to run a successful business, there's no way in fuck I was gonna turn my kid away. I'd be like, no, I can't, I need to get ready for this. Because being with my family is my priority. That's my why, that's why I'm doing this. And so I still showed up, I still came on time. My husband distracted me, there was a whole thing. And I am striving for like a high standard. So that's why I deleted it. And that's why I'm back here to do it again with you. Give yourself permission to have both. Like it's always, um, like you can't have everything. We hear that all the time. You can't have everything. Like if something good's going, something bad has to happen because you just can't have everything. Why the fuck not? Tell me why I can't have everything. Tell me why you can't have everything. There's no good reason other than people coming and like pissing in your cornflakes. There's no good reason why you can't have everything you want. You're allowed to embody the things that you are working towards now before you've achieved it. That is how you achieve it. Like this has to do with like, it's CEO mindset. It's embodiment. It's next level embodiment. It's being the person that you want to be. It's stepping into and owning that next level version of yourself. I'm often using this analogy to talk about how you make decisions in your business and how you invest and how you write content and how you show up for your audience. But hi, it's also about how you show up for yourself, how you show up for your family. 
it's not just about writing great content and selling or getting your nails done or getting your hair done or dressing a certain way or like changing your offers. It's also very, very much who you are behind the scenes. What is that person, that next level version of you? What is she doing behind the scenes? How is she spending her time? How is it different than how you're currently spending your time? What can you now do to start spending your time the way you want to be spending it? And that's not to say like, oh, well, like, future me like barely works. So I don't want to work anymore. But I also want to get paid. Like that's not how it works. Like let's not get it twisted. Like you're all super smart. You still have to work. This is not an easy thing. This is hard fucking work. I was just talking to my client Estelle and she's like, man, this is a journey and a half. And I was like, yep, not for the faint of heart, eh? Like it is not for the faint of heart. You're creating something that's brand new that never existed before. Like wrap your mind around that. Your business did not exist before you started it. Like you created something brand new. That's wild. That's so wild and crazy. And so, yeah, you do still have to work. You can't just be like, hey, I don't want to do anything. I want to work like an hour a week and I want to make a million dollars. So... Like you do still have to put in the effort, but it's also so important that you have time boundaries, time management skills, personal life boundaries, business boundaries, values as your company, priorities as your company, and embodying that stuff now, today, and making decisions based on what you're working towards. That is so crucial. Okay, I hope you guys super loved that. I loved talking about it with them. And I love just sharing it with you guys. In the 500k club, all of that embodiment, we are going to be talking about. I'm going to show you how to map out what you want for the vision of your business. What does it look like? Who are you? What are you doing? How are you spending your time? How are you running your business? What does your business look like? What's your day to day? And then we're going to reverse engineer a map for just you, no one else, a map from that version of you making 500k in one year backwards to start like now. What What is going to be your step one? Like a little treasure map where the X marks the spot is half a million dollars and all the things you envision for your business. And then we're going to work backwards to where you are today. And then you're going to start walking forwards again to get to that X. You know exactly where you're going. It's a perfect map. We're going to work on the mindset of being that person. Because if you're not feeling like you're that person right now, it's going to take a minute. It's going to be a journey to become that person person that makes that money and lives that lifestyle and does those things. Um, we're going to do a lot of money mindset. We're going to do course creation. We are going to do selling and launching at high levels. We're going to be talking about like having your content sell for you so that you don't have to be like selling in the DMs and booking sales calls and pitching people on sales calls and overcoming objections. Um, we're going to be doing a high level manifestation. We are going to be doing like a lot of soul aligned work. And this is a journey. And so this is all about making more money without sacrificing time with your family, time with yourself, your self care, all kinds of things, serving more people than ever and making half a million dollars in three years time. If you believe that you could make three, sorry, half a million dollars in three years time, then you need to be in this mastermind. And if you wish it, but you don't believe it, then you need to be in this mastermind. So BrittanyBud.com forward slash 500k club. I 
as I said, I've done hundreds of thousands of dollars in the last, coming up on two years, it'll be the, the two year anniversary of this group. I have done hundreds of thousands of dollars in this space, like not running ads, not getting people from other places, sticking in my own blue ocean and being here organically. I have had over a hundred women pay me for something at some point so far this year, I know how to sell. I know how to sell to a lot of people. I know how to sell in a way that feels really good. I know how to sell in a way that never feels graspy or gross. I know how to make a lot of money and be a CEO. And that's what I do with my clients. And you can go through and see my clients' testimonials, but I'm bringing this to you so that you can make a lot more money simply easy, light, expansive. We are scaling. We are changing the world together and it's going to be huge and it's going to be amazing. So please go fill out the, um, like the questionnaire so I can get to know you. If you have questions or you are disqualifying yourself, then we need to have a conversation because as I said at the beginning of this, if you want to be in this room, there's always a table. Like, I am not someone that is like, hey, look at me, look what I can do. I'm very much a person of, hey, like, come, come with me. I did this. I'm going to show you how to do it too. Come on. There's always room at my table. And I talk about this so much because I was so excluded as like a young girl that like, I just include everybody. So I'm not going to disqualify you. And if you're disqualifying yourself, you're just mean girling yourself. That's not nice. Don't mean girl yourself. Come and hang out at my table. Like join this collective of thought leaders and experts. This is the next step for you. I want to invite you in. Please feel free to DM me. There is a checkbox on the form where I get to know you that says if you want to talk to me about your application about your questionnaire about your thoughts you just click it and then sit hit submit at the bottom once you've answered the questions so I can get to know you better it will take you to my calendar I've opened up a bunch of space for Wednesday Thursday and Friday during the day which I never do um, but my husband's here so I was like this is perfect timing and if none of those times work for you send me an email send me a DM we can talk privately there. I want you, if you want to be there, I want you there. And I'm going to help fight for that dream for you. If your brain is being a big bitch. And yes, brains are bitches. So BrittanyBud.com forward slash 500k club. I cannot wait to see you. I only have a couple of spots left. Um, and I think that you deserve very much to be in that room. Like you deserve to have the money you want. You deserve to have the business you want. You deserve to have the life that you want. You deserve it all. So come on, let's go. I'm here. My hand is out. Come and take my hand. We're going to hold hands. I like holding hands. I'm weird like that. Like, let's go make a lot of fucking money. Okay. <laughs> awesome. My loves. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all later. Mwah!